But honestly, I hated driving the car. To me personally, didn't ride well. The chassis just felt floaty and not, you know, solid. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, influences that I had uh, to get to where I am, starting AFD and all my other adventures with cars. So sitting here with me today is, this is actually my dad's 2001 Z06 Corvette. Uh, I've been storing it for him here for a little while, um, but this was my mom's 50th birthday present to my dad. Uh, and I was a, I believe I was a sophomore in high school when this car showed up. So at the time, a Z06 Corvette was a, uh, the hot car to have. So that was a very much a temptation in the garage when the parents weren't home right here. So uh, now we take really good care of it for dad. But my passion for cars didn't start here. I've been into cars my entire life. This just builds to the story. Uh, this car, we've had it out to a bunch of the different tracks in California. It uh, was actually one of the first cars we put a ProFlex Commander on at AFD. Uh, so it has a very early, it's had a ProFlex Commander on it for over 10 years at this point, but this is the first car that Advanced Fuel Dynamics built the system. This car specifically because all the big naturally aspirated engines are going away. So I thought about like a Viper, you know, American big V10, but I wanted big V8. So this was lightweight, big cubic inch. And then with all the issues we had, now aftermarket block and everything else. So we won't go into all the details in this video, but basically every nut and bolt of this vehicle has been modified to be the ultimate, in my view, of an American muscly sports car that you can take to the track and tear it. So the TRX, Ethan was asking me why, why the TRX. The TRX actually came about because I had a Hellcat and we had it, it made 1060 something to the time, I mean, almost 1100 to the wheel, six speed manual. But honestly, I hated driving the car. To me personally, didn't ride well. The chassis just felt floaty and not, you know, solid. And, you know, coming from road racing world, it just was, I just really did not like driving that car, but I loved the engine. So I had a Land Rover for a while and it was breaking down like all the time. Like it would be like 110 and it would break down on the highway. And uh, so I thought, well, that's pretty stupid. Plus we were going to the track more. So I was like, you know what? I need to get a truck. And then I was like, oh, well the Hellcat platform has been a great platform for advanced fuel dynamics. We already made systems for the TRX at the time. But I was like, that'll be a good one to get. So hence the uh, TRX, uh, the AFD TRX anyways was born and it tows our stuff all over the place. So it has plenty of horsepower to tow the horses too. 